go figure the heat would turn on as soon as I start recording the video but anyway so which I look really weird it's late at night let me show you how late come on I ain't got time for this okay I don't know if you can see it or not but it's 343 let me show you up here I can't do it right now but anyway it's 343 and I'm like man I have to make this video while I'm thinking about it right okay paranormal stuff let me tell you what's going on is this I hope it's not too close I feel weird anyway I don't know okay <laughs> paranormal stuff is going on the other day I had woke up at like I don't know 20 after 9 or something like that and I hurried and I let the dog out which like out the front door or my yeah the front door I let the dog out the front door and Joseph was already outside smoking so he was outside with the dog and <laughs> Um, yeah, so, <laughs> the reason I'm laughing, because I'm not going to edit this video, and two, like, I hope Joseph's family, or his mom doesn't watch this video, because, yeah, his mom doesn't know that he smokes, but whatever, that's why I was, like, real hesitant in saying it, or trying to retract my steps after I done said it, but it's too late, whatever, so I let the dog out, and Joseph was out there because he was smoking. Well, I hurry and I came to the bathroom because when I wake up in the mornings, I have to pee really bad. Like, I gotta pee, 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 I gotta pee. TMI, sorry. Well, after I used the bathroom, I went straight back to my room and I locked my door and I was gonna change my clothes to put, like, the clothes I was gonna have on for the day. Now, this was yesterday, I think it was. Or am I the day before? I can't remember. I think it was yesterday. But I was talking about it tonight, and I figured I'd go ahead and talk about it in a video, so I won't forget it. And I have pictures to prove what I'm talking about. Man, I've been babbling for two and a half minutes, and I hadn't even got to the story. Well, when I went back into my room, there was like a handprint on my bed. And it's really weird, because when I got up, I just pulled the blanket or the spread up. I didn't touch it at all. And... I don't know if you guys remember, but I told you that I had seen like a kid or like the tapping on the fishbowl type of stuff going on. And I had seen like a girl in the foyer of our house or whatever. There was a handprint on my bed, like a child's handprint. And I'll show you really quick. Let me, hold on. I hope, I don't know if it didn't show up or not. I don't really want to integrate these pictures into this video because then I'll have to edit it and then the quality will be diminished even more. Than what it is for a crappy webcam video but I took a photo actually I took three photos and I'll show you all three of them this is the first one that I took okay can you see the handprint right right there Okay, and then I took this, a second picture with my hand beside it to show you the difference in size. That hand is a lot smaller than mine. Like, I showed it to my cousin, and my cousin's like, that looks like a paw print, like a dog paw print. I'm like, a dog print, a dog paw print is not as big as my hand. Like, the puppy that I have, his paw is not that big. And look, it's the same size. Not, it's not the same size as my hand, but it's smaller than my hand. And here's the other one. I pressed on the bed beside it, and it shows my handprint beside it. Now, it's really weird. I don't get it. I don't understand it. And see, you can see right here's the thumb, and then there's the four fingers. You can barely see the pinky. And what I'll do, I'll post... Um, I don't know if some of you people is on my fan page on Facebook or not, but I'm going to make like a paranormal, um, like photo album on there.
and then I'll post those pictures on there for you guys to see it after this video debuts. I'll put them up there, so if you want to go to my fan page and see the pictures for yourself, since I know you probably couldn't see it good in the video, then go over there and check it out. The link should be in the description box below. But that freaked me out. Like, I was telling my mom, because Joseph is like, oh no, you probably done that, blah, 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 and didn't realize it. And I'm like, no. Like, how would I would have done it? Because I pulled my cover up. Like, you grab the top of the covers, and then you pull it up. And then I grabbed what I was going to be wearing that day and threw it on the bed. And then I came and let the dog out. Came here and used the bathroom. And then I went back to my room. And there was the handprint. Like, I don't know. To me, it was really weird. I have no reason to be making it up. If you believe me, if you don't believe me. I told my mom, I said, I said, why would I lie? Why would I lie? Why would I waste my time, my time, not your time, not her time, not anybody's time. Why would I waste my time making a handprint and then put my own handprint beside it? I don't know, whatever. So the handprint's there. And then the other stuff too, I was talking to somebody in the comments, I think on the first uh, paranormal, not the very first, but the one I've been posting here lately, it's called um, Paranormal and Alien Talk. And in that video, or on, in the comments, I was talking to someone, I can't remember her name, but she was telling me how she sees, like, cats coming down the stairs, and she doesn't have any cats. Well, something similar like that happened to me. And it was happening to me a lot until I got, like, the last puppy that I had before this one. I had got another puppy that was a German Shepherd, and I'm giving him away to somebody else because... Yeah, I just couldn't deal with it at the time. I was under a lot of stress about things. So I gave him away. His name was Toby, and I gave him to someone else. But then the puppy that I have now, I have time and the patience for it. So, yeah. But anyhow, blah, blah, blah. Well, before I had got Toby, I would constantly hear my dog. Like, Tim killed my dog, basically. We're not going to go into that right now. That's in a whole other video in itself. But some, he had done something to my dog, etc., and the dog had to be put down. Well, which really breaks my heart. I don't want to. Anyways, that dog was like my dog. But we're not going to talk about that because I'm going to get really upset about it. Well, the dog, like, he had little things that he would do that I taught him. And I swear, like, after he passed away and all that kind of stuff, I would feel him like jump on the bed or like like something would touch my leg or like and I've, hey, I have felt this for probably uh, probably about two years up until I got the other puppy that I was telling you about. It would happen until I got him and then after I got him it, was, it stopped so I don't know if like Lucky got jealous or went away or whatever happened I don't know. I would even hear like him when he would scratch he would hit his collar because the collar he couldn't well he got where he liked wearing his collar but when he would scratch he would just scratch the collar and I would hear it and yeah or even I'd be laying in bed at night and all of a sudden the bed would shake and it's like he was scratching because when he would lay on the bed with me he didn't have fleas or anything I guess he had like dry skin I don't even know and I'd be like stop and he would quit scratching or whatever well I would feel that and then I went orb hunting in the house, and it's funny, it's kind of ironic too, which if I can find those pictures on one of my externals, then I'll upload those as well. But there's a picture that I took in the hallway, like you can see the corner of my skirt or something in the photo, and right down there, like close to my skirt, the corner of my skirt, there's an orb. And I know that it's not dust because like... I took other pictures and there's like a couple of more orbs that's toward the floor. I'm like, oh, how cute is that? I wonder if that's like Lucky's little spirit or something, you know, but whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much what I was going to tell you guys about seeing that handprint. And if you hear that, that's not Lucky scratching. That's Buddy scratching. But he does have dry skin. Like I'm going to have to get him something. But anyway. I just thought I would tell you guys that and tell you how weird I thought it was. You tell me if it's weird. What do you think of the handprint thing? 
I mean, honestly, do you think it's real? Do you think it's fake? Do you think maybe I done it and forgot it? Which I know I didn't do that. My cousin was trying to say, oh, well, that looks like a dog print to me. That's clearly not a dog print. But either way, it kind of freaks me out. And I don't know what to think or make of any of this stuff. Because, I mean, like, if I'm seeing ghosts and spirits and all that type of stuff, I would like to communicate with them. I don't know, which I'm not going to get, like, a Ouija board and, like, none of that kind of stuff. Because that's so freaking me out. Hey, you guys like my... I should know you can't see it really good. It looks orange, but it's not. It's this real vibrant, like, um, a pink rose, like a rose color, because it kind of matches this shirt a little. But and it's got really pretty foil glitter on it. But anyway, whatever. This was like three minute makeup. I'm not kidding. We were running out the door, and I'm like, ah, I just look bare faced. So I'm like, mm put it on there really quick not with my hands but with brushes but anyway that's enough talking you guys leave in the comments below have you ever seen any prints like on your bed on the window anything you ever seen a handprint what do you think that means and um yeah let me know and i will see you guys later thanks for watching